For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine, to, determine the magnitude and orientation measure counterclockwise from the positive y-axis from here this way of the resultant force acting on the bracket if uh, f of b is 600 newtons and this angle is 20 so this is 600 and this angle is 20 degrees all right guys this is easy just break it down f of a is equal to 700 sine of 30 i plus 700 cosine of 30 j now if you solve this you're gonna get that is equal to 350 i plus 606.2 j and now for f of b is equal to negative 600 cosine of 20 degrees i because it's going towards the left plus 600 sine of 20 j when you solve this in your calculator you get that the x component is negative 563.8 and the y component is 205.2 in the j unit vector direction. To find f of r, all you gotta do is add x component with x component, y component with y component. Are you gonna get that the resultant force is negative 213.8 in the i direction plus 811.4 in the J direction. It's going to be somewhere over there. Makes sense. You got to convert this to polar form. To find the magnitude, you do the square root of 213.8 square plus 811.4 square. And when you solve this, you get that this is 839. Point one, and to find the angle you do the tangent okay the angle you do the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component and you get that the angle is equal to 75.24 degrees but they asked you for the angle that it forms with the y axis not not this angle this is the angle which is found they're asking you for this angle right here so all you got to do is uh, 90 minus theta is equal to let's say call it phi and uh, phi is going to be equal to 14.76 degrees final answer for the angle and where's that magnitude plus it off final answer for the magnitude.